Hi, welcome to Blending Designs. Let's roll the intro. Welcome to Adobe Illustrator series where you will be learning all tips and tricks from beginner to advanced. Before that, let's introduce ourselves. I am Faizan and uh, I've been working as a graphic designer for past seven years now and I wanted to create the series like long time ago but I was unable to do it. But now I have some time to create this so I thought why not create a good series where I will teach you how I create my stuff how i give my theme and my touch to my designs and what are the basics for illustrator to the advanced skill levels you can always follow me on instagram or behance yeah everything is down below this is the first lesson for adobe illustrator and in this you will be learning how to select an object how to move it around how to edit some of the objects that we create so let's move on to illustrator and i will teach you the basic stuff over there here we are in Illustrator. I hope everybody who is watching this tutorial at least have Illustrator installed or you are going to install it because why will you watch this tutorial if you don't want to use Illustrator? Come on. When you open Illustrator for the first time, it will be looking like this. Yeah, a lot of stuff. We can go around this stuff later, but so I just want a simple document. For that, I will just click any of these, but the better option will be letter you have to create a4 letter or letter size document whatever you like i am just going to create click on this and it will create a document that is letter so here uh, you can zoom in zoom out if you have mac you can just uh, zoom in like the way uh, you do with your pictures all you have to do is click on this thing or you can um, select it by um, pressing z and uh, after that you will just click and drag it will zoom in and zoom out so it is easier to use like this way whichever you like but i like pinching in and pinching out through the mac that's why i'm using that so here we are with zoom tool the first tool we have learned is the zoom tool the second tool will be selection tool this is selection tool b it's better to learn the shortcut because they make the things easy really easy in illustrator if you know how to move between selection and zoom tool like z and for selection tool you have v so you can click v to convert into a selection tool like this and if you click z it will be zoom tool so i will click selection tool selection tool is basically for selecting objects so let me uh, create some objects really fast So to create objects, all you have to do is go over here. This is rectangle tool. You click on this, it, you will be on the selection tool, right? So you will click on this one uh, or you can click M, press M for rectangle tool. So all you have to do is click and drag and it will create a rectangle. We will be discussing the tools later on in details. But for now, just click on this and you can create an object. If you click and hold, on rectangle tool there are certain options that you can create you can create a rounded rectangle you can create ellipse uh, you can create poly uh, polygon and star etc flare so let's create a circle to uh, go to the ellipse you can even press l to make a circle click on this and drag so it will create a circle you can see that i have guides on so for that all you have to do is uh, press ctrl q or you can go to view smart guides press on click on this and see now it, they are not showing up because i have switched them off and click on this view and go to smart guides i will be discussing this um, shape tools in uh, details later in the next video but for now just create some objects and uh, uh, whatever you like polygon just, just like so create and drag click and drag and you will create and polygon so we wanted to talk about the selection tool first so i will press v if we need to learn the shortcuts yeah so i will press v and it will give the selection tool now what i have to do i want to move this object the selection tool is basically used to do three things the first thing that we use selection tool for is moving the object so you can click on any object and you can drag it 
anywhere by clicking and dragging if i want to move this object on top just i click i will click on this i will drag over here click and drag so like so i'm moving objects here and there moving around yeah i love this game i'm moving the object this is the first thing that i'm doing. the second thing that uh, selection tool does is resize so how can we resize click on any object you will see these dots see the corners these corner to us actually for resizing so you can click from any corner and drag it will resize the object and you can resize to any shape anything you want cool 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 cool, cool. so we can resize the objects the third thing that selection tool does is rotate so how can we do that click on and i will not rotate the circle because you will not even see if it, even if it's rotating or not but we can do it with the rectangle too so i will click on rectangle and see there is if you go to the corners you will see these arrows not here this this arrow shows that i can resize it but on if you move further a little bit there is an arrow that shows movement so when you click on this and rotate it will rotate the object so now you can way wow now you can rotate the objects so i will if i leave it here it will rotate like this if i leave it here it will rotate like this so i am rotating the objects see i can rotate any object anything in any way in any direction this is the selection tool there is one more thing that we need to know before we can move to the next tool that is direct selection tool that is if i want to maintain my proportion like this rectangle is like this but see if i do not do anything and try to reduce its size it will not remain rectangle it might become a line it might become a square so if i want it to be similar as rectangle and i want just to reduce its size but not change its shape then i will press shift while doing it so if i'm reducing the size if i press shift see now the proportion is remain same the proportion is remaining same so nothing will change except the size of it if i try to reduce the size without sh holding shift it will be it may become an oval but if i hold shift it will never become an oval it will always be circle similarly here oh my god what is happening here but if i if i click shift here it will remain a polygon that's all for selection tool now we have direct selection tool and this there is a funny thing about it it is actually similar to selection tool but there is a difference if you select an object with direct selection tool you will see these portions these small squares at the end these are called anchors and if you hover on it it will say anchors so these are the actually anchors that are making the shape for this there are five corners that means it has five anchor points so the circle is always four anchor point because if i click on this anchor point you will see handles we will talk about the handles and how to manage them later but for now you have to understand how the shape is being made so for rectangle we have four anchor points and that with selection tool we cannot move the anchor point we can just resize it right but with direct selection tool i have a power to change the anchor point so if i click on the anchor point and i want to change the shape of an uh, object i can easily change i can move the anchor point any direction i want double click on this because if you do not click if see the four anchor points are selected and if i try to move this it will uh, move the whole shape i just want to select this anchor point so to do so either way either i have to click outside and then click on the anchor point this way not, uh, none of the other points will be selected and only one point will be selected so i can move it any in any direction this is the first way 
so it's easier if you double click on an anchor and then move on the second click because even if you have selected the object it works fine with the double click so I, I always double click on an anchor point and then move on the second click so I will do this and it will move easily so it's easier to move with a double click either way you have to click outside and click on the anchor point and then move same thing but it's easier you click on the anchor point two times and move the anchor point on the second click so I have made a logo wow so this is the direct selection one more thing before we move to the next lesson is how to change colors see I have changed this object to orange this one is green but other are same as blue but how you will change the color the best way is click on an object and you will see the color guides over here if you don't see it click on this or you can always go to windows and click on color you can always change the color from here or the other method is you click on this fill double click on this and select a color okay so this way you will be able to color any object so either way you will either you click from these colors or if you want specific color double click on this okay i want something related to yellow okay so it's orangish yellow i'm good with it okay click on this double click Here we are with different color objects. And that's all for the first video. Uh, hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel, keep on watching, and let's meet again sometime.